back, picking up where we left off, part three. Let's get right into it. Watch your backs!
Shit would be pretty cool if Come we could do it. multiplayer. I've only really seen the one that's multiplayer. You reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harald. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it, for I have not come to They're war usually against around you, an hour for you at the request of your father. The canny wolf. Was this the plan his Why would you plan? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven Clan can take Kurtway's fortress oh. and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, I should make YouTube videos. The wandering too. king will tip our fortunes. Any man who wishes to see the end of Kyotwe is a friend of mine. We thank you, what I like. King Harald. Dude, your I trust in me will be repaid. This blood feud runs deep, videos. King Harald. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Kyotr broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kyotr and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Yeah, just more or less make gameplay walkthrough videos. So I'll play for an hour and then I'll post it up you join the next day. Hold a moment. Like if you I play for long three hours in the day, I just Meet make three videos and, we will claim and post them up day for after the day. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kyotr stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Eivor, give us a hand. Ardald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He is either a young fool, or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end. Yeah, I'm gonna hop out the boys chat until I'm done this video, and then I'll, I'll join it. That way, uh... I don't have to be chatting while I'm making a video. I said I'm gonna hop out the voice chat and I'll join it when I'm done the video. That way I don't have to be chatting the whole time. Alright. I'll, I'll talk to you in a bit.
Eivor, you missed the opening act. Kurtwe's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? We do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harold's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. The neighbor may give challenge to Kurtve at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Yes. Is this what you want? Kyotve robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kyotve should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. Today my blade must do the work of Skuld's sharp scissors. ...and cut short the cord of Kjotve's fate. Well said, my sharp-tongued warrior scout. May we all live to hear that saga sung. Eivor! A word! Basim, Hytham. This feud is not yours, yet you fight it all the same. I find that strange. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, have been fighting with Kjotve's order for centuries. You came from Miklagard to kill Kjotve yourself? We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kjotve's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone, but the order to which he belongs. Something of a rival clan to our own. Hytham, I mean no disrespect to you or the Hidden Ones. But Kjotve is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Kjotve dies this day. On that, we are agreed. is only here to watch me feed your innards to my raven. Look at this! <laughs> Once again, Abel Wolfkist appears to take a swipe at me! This... This is my father's shame. Today I take back the honor he lost. I call a home gang! Here! Against the Oathbreaker! I will make you beg, as your father begged, Wolf Kiss. Squeal, as your mother squealed. You destroyed my life! I will take yours! You are weak, like your father was weak! Watches. My blade will drink your blood! Your flesh will feed my wolves!
Trick, wolf kissed. You are your father's child. if you must, into the crucible of your doom. Your father is dead, Gorham. His debt repaid. Open the gates and you will be spared. Wallow in shit, wolf kissed. Archers, take aim. Ravens, show no mercy. Archers, fire. Thank <laughs> you. 
made you predictable. You are a shadow of your father, Gorm. Weak and witless. And you will leave this place as ashes on the wind. Coward, go! Eivor, the breath of battle rises from my brow. The skulls will sing of this night. We have won the day, but Gorm escaped. He fled north to King Harald's domain. Let that bruised piglet run where he may. His father is dead. His clan is no more. We are the masters of Ria Vilke. A toothless cub may grow to be a dangerous wolf. Eivor, stop. And listen. You have reclaimed your honor. Enjoy the night's victory. Tomorrow, we will celebrate. You're right, brother. You're always right. Guth Ormur, relay news of our victory to your nephew, the king. I have done so already, Sigurd. He'll be more than pleased, and will ensure you pride of place at his holding at Alvestad. Tell him we will come, battle flushed and singing songs of glory. Keep company with kings, and you will soon have a crown of your own. <laughs> if the fates have spun it so, linger here and loot what you can. I will bring news of our victory to father before he leaves for Harald's Althing. I know, Sunan. Another time.
and then let me down with a tiny twig. Does everyone in Alrekstar there play their love game so loudly? No, it's just my husband. He cannot satisfy his wife! Ah, old age? No, he's still young and fit. It was not always so. You could not keep us apart when we were raiding. He, he would plow you during raids. Our first time was in the middle of a burning village. Now, after a while, the crew made us stop. They said it was... distracting. Love can burn brighter near death. Have you tried revisiting these memories? Yeah, but talking about it is not the same. I need to feel it. Smell it. 
So you need to bring the excitement of the raid into your bed. You could help us pretend we are raiding. That will make my water flow. Come, we must tell my husband. I was only, uh... Well, all right. Grab your weapon, you big, strong vikinger. Today we raid. A raid? Now? Join me in the blood dance. Fill me with your battle lust. Oh, yes, yes! Let us go. It is amusing, but not at all. Now, it does not feel real enough. Maybe you need more fire, like your first time. Yes! Burn down our house! Burn it to the ground! <sighs> Show me. Do you see? with stink. Huh? Step closer, seal face, and say that again! I said your stench! Your stomach and That's power your only thirst. strength! Your stench! Ah! A thirsty foe! Down it faster than me, and you are the victor! Got a wager in you! Put your silver on the barrel! Ah, uh, fear got you! I will feed your teeth wrapped in your tongue! You have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet, by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorm is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's troops, and Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. Here's a seat stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim, watch over this one and see that he warms himself with drink. 
I will find my father and escort him to the Longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kyotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver? The size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess? All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. A gift of knowledge from a man I hardly know. Is this your way of asking me to join your brotherhood? Not at all. So long as men and women fight to secure honor and freedom, religions hardly matters to me. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorham is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes, and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. Gorm is there, in the camp ahead. Stomach. Uh, you have to eat something before drinking that much. How does that go? Feed before me. I have some roasted lamb on the spit. Are you coming? Eve! You Arga shit! Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor. Land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? <laughs> <laughs> you can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harold's truce. You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace, and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You were shat into this world without honor, Gorm. And you will leave as a turd dumped into hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The old thing will have started. I should find Sigurd.
can swill with the best. Pains me to say, he does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arse near ours. And we get nothing but a muddy river! I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify. And turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow, we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Jor. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Ljuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kurtveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjortve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakrout, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor Wolfkist, you are Kjortve's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? I would send him to hell as I did his father. Understandable. But a quick death is too good for a Draugr like him. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exile. Leave these lands by the next full moon or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right! Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. 
You will die a thrall. You drink addled cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stabian Jarl. And I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stupion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. We're gonna have to cut it short. Dream of a this glorious is uh, a little too long, so we will catch you on the next episode.